live from the Moscone Center, it's theCUBE, covering AWS Summit San Francisco 2018. Brought to you by Amazon Web Services. Welcome back to theCUBE's coverage of AWS Summit here in San Francisco. I'm Stu Miniman, happy to welcome the program a first time guest, Sai Mukundan, who's in product management at Cohesity. Excuse me, Sai, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks, Stu, lovely to be here at the AWS Summit. Okay, tell us a little bit about your background and really what, what led you to come to Cohesity. Sure, um, so uh, as you know, you know Cohesity is uh, one of the you know, private VC funded companies in the Bay Area. I was um, you know, actually in Microsoft Azure prior to uh, Cohesity. Can't mention Azure here, we're, we're at the AWS event side. Uh, it's okay, I mean, that's where I was, right? Um, so uh, I've been uh, in storage uh, domain in, in the industry for some time prior to that at Veritas. Um, been in product management for a number of years. And I think um, what drew me into Cohesity was really two things, right? One is uh, the fact that it was led by, you know, it's led by Mohit Aaron, one of the you know, pioneers when it comes to you know, distributed systems and, and building and scaling companies. Uh, and then the second thing is to really be part of something where you can make a big difference in the industry. I mean, you're making a sea change in uh, the storage domain of all things. You know, it's become hot again. Uh, and so to be part of that uh, change was really what drew me into Cohesity. Yeah, uh, bring us inside. You talk about storage and cloud. You know, when we think back, it's like, remember, cloud was going to be simple. It's just, you know, this wonderful thing, we just turn it on. I don't have to worry about things like, definitely don't have to worry about storage. I mean, you know, they'll take care of all my security. Oh, your backup goes away. I don't have to worry about any of the things anymore. Oh, wait, maybe, maybe we do need to worry about those things, right? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So, what we see, you know, from customers is, a lot of them really want to adopt the cloud and, and, and have been adopting it in their own, in, in their own way, right? Um, but what they're faced with is really, broadly I would say, from a storage perspective, three different challenges. One is the fact that um, you know, they, have, they continue to have their on-premises and now they're looking to leverage the cloud. So that's number one in terms of how can I make it very seamless uh, without any point products or point solutions. Um, the second is, from a Cohesity perspective, we are really focused on what we call a secondary storage. Things that are you know, outside of uh, what we call the primary, which is not your mission critical, high, high IOPS, uh, low latency applications, but things like backup, test dev, DR, right? And so, there's a lot of silos in there. So how do I you know, adopt the cloud, at the same time, reduce the siloed infrastructure. And the third one is really around ease of use and, and management and simplicity around it. So that's really where the complexity comes in and Cohesity is trying to address that. Okay, so I, you know, when I looked up some of the marketing material from Cohesity, I, I heard the term, it was you know, hyper-converged secondary storage. Isn't that some box that lives in my data center? How does that fit into kind of the cloud discussion that we're having today? Yeah, so let me clarify that myth a little bit, right? So, uh, in the data center, yeah, you have a lot of boxes, right? But from Cohesity, the way we like to think about our solution is it's completely software-defined, right? Software-defined, API-driven approach to doing things. Um, so let me kind of set you up with what the challenge is from a customer standpoint. So when you have secondary storage or the element of backup and test dev and DR, what customers typically have is uh, a combination of you know, media servers, master servers, talking to storage, tape, and then cloud becomes an afterthought. You typically have some kind of a cloud gateway uh, talking to you know, various different public clouds, right? So you can see how this environment is pretty complicated uh, in the fact that you have different point products. So very um, you know, scattered and inefficient. The second thing, from an inefficiency standpoint is the fact that there is the same copy of data maintained across many different uh, systems. And then, now when you think about the cloud, you're now trying to manage the on-premise with the cloud, right? And, and managing it in two different environments is, is not very, very easy. So that's, that's the problem space. And then with Cohesity, what we're trying to do is, we have what we call the data platform. Again, that's the software defined aspect of it, which can run on hardware that we provide, or it can run on you know, hardware that the customers bring to the table. So again, that's where the software defined nature comes in. Mm -hmm. And the same software, we call it the cloud edition, can run on AWS or any of the other public clouds as well. Okay, so, but paint a picture for me. Is 
the data center kind of the primary piece and the cloud, you know, is it kind of a, a backup, archive, things like that? Or are, are they equal and they live? Are there some customers? Can I just have Cohesity software only in public clouds or does there need to be, you know, some data center component of this? It's, it's really all of the above, in the sense that we have customers who think of it, uh, you know, think of a hybrid approach uh, to doing things, so they have their on-premises and, uh, you know, the cloud as well, right? And in the hybrid approach, they're typically trying to do two things. One is leverage just the storage in the cloud as an extension of their on-premise, wherein you, know, you could archive the data for long-term retention or for tiering. And then the second use case is really around test dev and disaster recovery in the cloud. Then we have a second set of customers which are you know, born in the cloud, cloud only, right? And that's where our cloud edition product, the software defined nature of it helps them to run in the cloud and solve the same pain points. We don't want any uh, silos now existing in the cloud, right? Um, and then there is a, a third category wherein you know, they are predominantly on-prem today, but heavily looking to leverage the cloud, and Cohesity is that data continuum, so to speak, in terms of a single platform, a, a single fabric that can manage both on-premise as well as the cloud environment. Great, so, so I heard Cloud Edition, I could be only in the cloud uh, and, and can work with Cohesity. Absolutely. When I look at customers, you know, it's typically heterogeneous environment. It's great if I've got some brand new, born in the cloud, you know, there, but most customers, they've got a heterogeneous environment, which means I've got multiple different storage types in my data center, I'm probably using multiple cloud services, yep. and would think that that'd be a good position for Cohesity to be that secondary storage layer uh, to, to, to help manage all of that uh, no matter what we are. Am, am I getting that right? Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I, I would say the more fragmentation or yeah. the more point solutions a customer is using today, the greater the benefit that, that they can realize from Cohesity, because yeah. we are really bringing all of that together, right? So you mentioned storage. Storage is a big part of it, but we also see a lot of customers looking to adopt more compute as well in the cloud, right? That's where the likes of you know, Amazon EC2 and EBS really comes into play sure. as well, right? And in that case, really the use cases are test dev, uh, disaster recovery, and then the fact that they can do more with the data, right? One of the other things that our platform offers is the ability to do analytics on it, uh, the ability to find insights, as, as Mohit likes to call it, it's dark data today, but we can shed some light on it. So that's really where the direction, you know, is, uh, is where we are headed in terms of, you know, innovation and, and where Cohesity is headed as a company. You know, so what, what do you find from customers? Are they aware of the challenge that they have in the cloud? I think in the data center, it's kind of well known that I need to be able to deal with these. Are there customers that are just unaware that they've got some of these challenges or, you know, falling into pitfalls and, you know, losing data or ha having issues that they then uh, have to deal with? I, I would say there are, you know, two sets of customers in that in that space, right? One is the customer who is really wary about things, um, who's really security conscious, who's kind of less like dabbling with the cloud, maybe here and there, but really conscious about adopting it broad, in, on a broader perspective, just because they want, they're, they're really concerned about whether it's PII information or any other security aspects, right? Uh, and so for them, having a solution that spans both on-premise and the cloud really is a, is a, is a great, uh, stepping stone, so, so to speak, in terms of now I can confidently move the data to the cloud, it's encrypted both at rest and in flight, and I can continue to use the same solution in both cases. We have, an, we have a, a second set of customers, I would say, who are more, uh, have been more bullish uh, about the cloud in general, but now they're taking a step back and saying, hey, wait a minute, uh, I'm continuing to face some of these same challenges that existed on premise in the past, right? It's, it's siloed again, I have various different storage, you know, you have S3, you have EBS, you have potentially other things, uh, and then uh, I'm running into the same pitfalls. So how can I, you know, take a step back, take a more holistic approach and solve the problem? So again, there, uh, the software defined nature of our solution really appeals to them because uh, we, we come in and we can solve some of those problems as well, uh, wherein they you know, face the same sort of pro problem set in, the, in the, the cloud world as they did on-prem world, and now they can say, hey, let me look at Cohesity as a solution that can get me there. All right, you brought up PII, so I have to ask you know, the, the, the big question in everybody's mind lately, what about GDPR? AWS said this morning, all their services, fully ready, you know, 100%, uh, you know, how does this impact? kind of cohesity in your customers? So GDPR is a big 
thing for us and our customers and prospects as well. Uh, so we are actively working um, on uh, you know, getting uh, GDPR uh, compliant. Uh, today our platform is FIPS compliant, so that's already a big stepping stone to, uh, to getting there. Mm -hmm. um, so we look at GDPR in, one of, in two ways again, right? One is the solution that we provide to our customers, the data platform and the data protect as we call it, being GDPR compliant, meaning the data that lands on that system uh, the, the ability to delete the data, the ability to say who, who, who has access to the data, role-based access, things like that. The second aspect is our support and the fact that you know, we have access to a lot of customer information ourselves, right? The fact that you know, we can uh, you know, look at their systems and uh, make sure that everything that we do internally is also GDPR compliant so that the customers and our support systems and our Salesforce database is all GDPR as well. Yeah. So both those elements come into play and we are actively working on yeah. all of well, them. Well, I wouldn't expect that you'd be looking at the customer's data. <laughs> well, when I say customer's uh, information, what I mean is the fact that you know when we access their, in, uh, their uh, platform, let's right. say they file a support ticket, right, right, the right. fact that now we can access their platform, debug, their, their uh, you know, systems, look at the logs and, and alerts. It's equally important to be uh, compliant there as well from a GDPR standpoint. Totally understand, yeah. I just w wanted to make sure there wasn't yeah. any ambiguity there. Yeah. Great, Sai, uh, want to give you the final word. We look forward to 2018, what should we be looking for in Cohesity uh, as it regards to the, the, the cloud marketplace? Yeah, I think um, a, a couple of things there. One thing that you will hear more about is uh, you know, Cohesity and cloud. Uh, we are uh, actively, you know, we have been working on uh, the cloud elements, both from a storage perspective and a compute perspective. But look to hear, uh, I would say, more on what we can do with cloud, na cloud edition, especially with the fact that, you know, there are more cloud native, born in the cloud applications, and providing the same data protection and uh, platform abilities in the cloud. That would, that is, that is number one. And then the second aspect. I would say is continued reinforcement of our hybrid message. Uh, the fact that we can solve this pain point for our customers in the on-prem world and in the cloud world, uh, really from a scalable standpoint, uh, from a, an API-driven standpoint, and the ease of use and management. Those three themes is something that you will continue to hear from Cohesity. All right, Simon Cundin with Cohesity, thanks so much for bringing us the update. We'll be back with lots more coverage here from AWS Summit. San Francisco, I'm Stu Miniman, you're watching theCUBE. Thanks.